What's up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we're back at Roshire Chase. We're touring a two-car garage version of the Shenandoah, and I say it's a two-car garage version because you can also build this one here as a three-car garage, which I know many, I've gotten so many requests for that recently. So I finally found it, finally did it here in Huntersville. New construction, which is hard enough to find by itself, but also the Shenandoah, 2,600 square feet. It is a five bedroom, three full bath plan that is just gorgeous. And this one, you actually can buy this one at least as of today, but you can also build this one. There's 36 total home sites in here. Beautiful wooded lots, private lots, jumbo sized lots, three car garage lots, and they're all Huntersville lots. So with that, we're gonna go tour this one right now, but if you're new to the channel, my name's Lucas Roller, I'm a realtor that helps people like you to find and buy a home here in the beautiful Queen City. So whether you're moving across town or across the country, I would love to help you find your perfect home in the perfect city, which is of course the Queen City. So um, call, text, or email anytime, info's down in the description. With that, let's go tour the Shenandoah. So like I said, this one is 2,600 square feet. Absolutely beautiful with some of these more premium finishes here in this particular community. Cause it's Huntersville, we're, we're bougie up here, right? Uh, with some of the niceties that everybody should have. Your uh, hardy, hardy plank fiber board. I always want to say hardy board fiber plank, which is not inaccurate. It's just a weird way to say it. You can notice eight foot doors. I'm gonna notice the incredible AC because it is a warm Carolina summer day. And so I gotta get inside and out of this heat. So the Shenandoah is really one of the mo more popular plans that I've seen because it has all of this living space here so if you want just giant living space, you want to again, you know, have the fireplace with a 77 inch TV above it, you know, you can do that. And of course, gas fireplace, I might add. If you wanted to not have a fireplace, just have a nice big living area, you can do that too. But if you want lots of uh, natural light, it's gonna come with those three windows there. I think there's also an upgrade where you can put a couple of windows there as well. Eight foot doors, nine foot ceilings, beautiful crown molding. And again, this is this is uh, spec inventory, quick moving, you know, everybody calls it something different, but you're gonna notice gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They've got that crown molding going all the way around. They've got all that recessed lighting. The millwork over the gas fireplace. Again, they're gonna, they're gonna have the mill work then over their range. Um, so clean, so beautiful. Look at all that. That like marble subway tile, super fun. And then they put Whirlpool in this one. You can also do the upgraded KitchenAid if you so choose. But then of course, we're designer, we're bougie. You got a Kohler sink right there. You got Kohler faucets. It's beautiful. It is beautiful plus I love this brass this brass color they put on there and of course again all going to be soft shut they're going to frame in your fridge so if you want to show off for the holidays you want to show everybody that you've got you know your dedicated your dedicated coffee spot you know you're going to make your your coffee over there you have a nice big pantry you got all of the functional niceties you're going to need to have a successful family holiday season and to look cool doing it unlike me <laughs> also of course I'm gonna have microwave convection up top I'm gonna also then have your full wall oven down bottom covered porch again this is just a great spot for going outside and also for unlocking the door <laughs> and to go outside or you'd be an uh, epic fail at it like me. But look at that. So they are a couple of different things I wanted to call attention to. One, they're actually sodding all of this, which if you did not realize is not common. Most builders will not actually do that. Um, 
covered porch again on a spec is not the most common thing here but for this community they're putting cover porches in everywhere i don't know they might be screening this one in they might not be i'm not sure it's easy enough to screen in after the fact if you so choose um but one of the things that especially for these center line of lots and i'm going to show this also in the video i do that's an overview of everything this whole center line here they're actually going to put up a privacy an evergreen uh privacy uh, landscaping row of like trees and shrubs and stuff so you're still gonna have even on this interior so all those exterior lots are gonna all have either trees back backing them there's tree save over there um, it's you know some really gorgeous lot options and then even you know neighbors going over that way none of that community can see in because they still kept all the trees between them so it's really nice privacy here and even on the ones that would be generally a little bit less private they even have thought ahead on that too so of course here you're gonna have I want to say this is a 12 by 12 pad here lots of space for just coming out here sitting in that beautiful sunshine Carolina sunshine you see how beautifully blue those skies are I had some uh, clients in from Southern California recently yesterday actually and they could not believe how perfect the weather is. They said, you know, it's gotten cooler and cooler every year in San Diego. And then finally, they can't take it any longer because it's too cold for them in San Diego. And so they're moving here because it's got that nice temperate weather, temperate lifestyle. You know, nothing's too crazy. Everything is just so nice. And, you know, I like to think we don't have near as many problems as anywhere else in the country right now. So at least that has been my experience. And for everybody I work with, they have voiced the same thing. Now you got your range there. Again, you got all your beautiful appliances, that beautiful millwork. You've got your dishwasher over here right next to the sink. So you can just boom, 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 clean up after having fam family over, friends over, whoever over, um, and then drop them in there. And then go over there. You'd probably have a nice big U-shaped couch so you can watch a movie. Maybe put some built-ins on either side to make it feel just a little bit more homey, a little bit more custom. Turn on a fire in the fireplace in the wintertime. Make it nice and cozy. Cozy. And enjoy how beautiful this home is. Now, they did finish out under the stairs. We're going to go upstairs in a second. But they finished out under the stairs. So not only does it just go here, right? Storage 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 and then boom more storage all the way under the stairs you're also going to notice the uh well i'll cover that in a second but they have lvp throughout the first floor and then they also kept lvp tread going upstairs in addition to the hardwood railings but this is like a flex space i think technically another this is going to be technically that fifth bedroom you could turn it into an office though. There are different options on the floor plan you could do. But look, all that crown molding. And if you're wondering what all the blue tape is, that's just quality stuff. So there's multiple rounds of quality control, QA, quality assurance, that goes into these homes. And so one of those is the initial builder tape walk where they make sure everything is pretty and perfect for you. And then there's a second round of that and then you and I do a round of that as well to make sure everything's perfect and taken care of before you actually make it yours. And so all that tape is normal. The reason there's so many little tape things is because they catch everything. Like even, you can barely see that, you know, that's up seven foot on the wall. It's just a tiny little, tiny little scuff on the paint. They're making sure it's gonna be perfect. Perfect for you. So here they uh, got the slot window with this nice big shower. And then you got your water area along with them, this nice big quartz countertop, lots of countertop space. So you can put out your soaps and your hair products and your combs and you know, whatever you got. I use a lot of space because I'm fancy, I guess, I don't know. But then also, on that entryway, you're also gonna have your wainscoting because again, we're fancy here. This is Huntersville after all. It's gotta be nice. It's, it's gotta be nice. 
and then going out into the garage. Look at that, nice big garage. And then there's also, again, the three car garage options as well in this community. But also, this is a spec. No other builders are finishing out specs in the garage. They're making sure to do it right, which I appreciate. Again, another one of those design things specific to humanity, they got these four, four and a half foot wide stair treads going up. So it just makes all of this feel so much more open with the two story ceilings. Like it's just got, again, window. You don't need this, but it's so nice. You get to enjoy all the extra space and light and airiness here. And, and of course this loft. Look at that. Look at that. You get to look out, see all the green, all the clean. And then of course they're also, you know, they're still a year plus away from it. But they're also then you know, gonna repave all the streets when the community's finished out. And look at this. So much space in this loft. Now the hall bath over here has two sinks in this vanity. Then you're also going to see, as we come in here, flip on the lights for you. Not one, but two recessed lights. So you don't have to take a dark shower or a dark potty. I don't know what you were thinking. Keep your mind out of the gutter. Um, and before we, okay, before we get into all the bedrooms, I want you to see this over here. Built-in cabinets, boom. Then side-by-side -side front load, washer dryer. Again, because nobody's gotta be dumpster diving for clothes. And then there's still space left over, so if you wanted to have a fold-out folding table or something, you got space for it there. We're through, what, two of the beds? And then, of course, the closet over here. We're gonna go check out the owner suite here in a second. Plus, I got a special surprise for you. So please, please stick with me to the end of this video because at the end of this video, I'm also gonna give you another video I made, a link to it where you can check out everything you need to know about this entire community. So please, 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 you don't wanna miss out on that. That's the owner suite. It's like candy, it's like dessert. We're gonna save the dessert for last. But one of the things you gotta see is look how crazy awesome this linen's closet is. Like that is, if you got five bedrooms, you need five bedrooms worth of linen space. And that one actually fits the bill. And most floor plans I've seen cannot say that. So here, again, another bedroom. Bedroom numero trois. Get a little French, a little fancy. I did take, what was it, four semesters of French? And I still need to, uh, I, I've, been, I've had on my bucket list for like two years now. Um, I really wanna go on a vacation to Lisbon and then also just all over France would be fun. Look at all that space. It's a nice size secondary, again, not huge, but it's a secondary. This is bigger than my room growing up. Like, look at that. And a walk-in closet. I didn't even get a closet. I lived, I did. My closet was my room. My room was a closet. Instead, you get a whole walk-in closet. Crazy, 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 crazy. So we're at four, four beds. And now we're gonna check out that fifth that I know you all been waiting for. I've been waiting for, oh my goodness, that is big. That is huge. Wow, that is gotta be like a 14 by 14, maybe bigger. That is huge. And oh my goodness, they did the super size shower in this one too. Look at that. Look at that with the rain shower head and everything. Look at that. There's so much space in here. I showed this in one of the other ones, but I'm gonna show you too right now. Look at that. I'm six foot six, I'm two meters tall, right? And I still, this is the only time I'm gonna have enough 
enough space to take a proper shower or you know come over here I can take a proper shower over there and it's been a long day you want to relax you just plop your butt down on the bench and you're like you know what today I earned this I earned this I get to be I always call it being a bump on a log just hanging out but don't be like me and shower with your shoes on because that'd be crazy but <laughs> you got your two sink vanity right there lots of countertop space of course storage under there right and then also you're gonna have all of that pull-out storage as well look at that nice white countertops all that quartz separated water closet for a little bit of privacy and you also then got extra room here so it's you know it's not claustrophobic it's not like some of these where it's like you got six inches in front of your toilet you got some real space and woo, check that out look at all of that storage this is a real closet that's a real closet for sure wow so there you have it this has been the shenandoah here at roseshire chase if you want to make this one yours or maybe you just want to see what else this community has to offer then go watch this video i made here all about the community the things around it the things to do everything you need to know all the different floor plans they got there and if this isn't quite right for you or you're still not sure what you're looking for or you just want to get an expert opinion on your home search call text or email anytime all the info's down below so as always my name is lucas roller i'm your realtor and expert to find and buy a home here in the beautiful queen city and as always until next time hope to show you around town